In Alberta, job safety is top of mind for prison guards who are now on day four of a wildcat strike. They say new open concept prisons are just too dangerous. The guards have been ordered back to work, but so far they're standing their ground. And as Francis Silvaggio reports, today they got support from colleagues within the correction system. For the fourth straight day, more than 2,000 Alberta corrections officers sworn to uphold the law or off the job and illegally on the picket line. It's a high-risk environment, and every day they go to work, they, there's a risk that they, they could be you know, injured, if not killed, um, and they're working short staff constantly, and we've tried to address this multiple times with the government and have gotten nowhere with them. The final straw came Friday when guards walked out of the Edmonton Remand Centre after the union says safety concerns about the new facility were ignored. This is about the health and safety of the people and being able to go home at the end of the day to their families and say goodnight to their children and be safe and sound. But the province says the safety concerns at the new facility are unfounded. These government employees, union members as well, have inspected the facility and have found it to be uh, not having any concern. The province says the union even signed off on the report. AUPE officials say that's not true, and in a show of support for prison guards, other corrections workers, including sheriffs at Alberta's two largest courthouses, joined the Wildcat strike this morning. We can actually have our clients at the courthouse today. They're not doing transports, and uh, we haven't been able to actually uh, interview them at the uh, remand center over the weekend. City police have jumped in to staff the courthouses, while RCMP from Alberta, B.C., and Saskatchewan are filling in at Alberta's 10 provincial correctional facilities. How long? No one is certain, but the province says it's done talking until the illegal strike is over. Our goal is the same. We want to have a safe and fair work environment, but it will not be accomplished under these conditions. The union says it's tried going through proper channels and feels its members have been left with few other choices. We started raising issues with occupational health and safety concerns when they informed us that they were building the new remand centre in Edmonton and that was five years ago. And here we are today. And the union says it's committed to be here every day until the province is willing to listen. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.